Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. Today is going to be my store finds and mail deliveries for the week. Uh, I actually found some stuff in stores for a change this week. I got a couple um, M2 uh, van releases, a couple different versions. Um, I originally found uh, these uh, Hostess releases uh, at my local uh, Walmart with, uh, well semi-local um just like one town over um with some friend uh help from my diecast buddies they kind of i posted pictures that i was uh looking for some of these and someone spotted some at uh the walmart not too far from my house so they let me know that there were some there and then uh, after work the next day i stopped and snapped some up so um there only were a few there, and uh, I was trying to help out another friend of mine, Howard, that wanted some as well. Uh, and I knew that we were going to be getting uh, a bunch more in the area, and they just had started hitting my area. So I gave the few that I had to my friend Howard, and then uh, my buddy uh, Mike Kovac from my local diecast club um, helped me grab some more, because um, I knew they would eventually be hitting more stores in my area. So Mike actually grabbed this um, uh, Hostess release, Walmart exclusive uh, Apple Pie Dodge A100 van for me. Uh, like I said, I grabbed one before, but I only found one. And I gave the one that I had to Howard because I knew we were going to be getting more in my area. And sometimes Howard doesn't get a lot in his area or he has trouble finding stuff. So um, so thanks to Mike for helping me find that. We're going to open up pretty much everything in today's video. Um, this one I, was one of the ones that I grabbed in person because I had two. This is from that same uh, Walmart exclusive hostess set. This is a Ford van. Uh, I think it's a 60 Ford, 64 Ford Econoline van. Sometimes they change up the year on these. Uh, there's a chase of the apple pie and there's also a chase of the the VW van in the hostess set, <clears throat> but I'm not really interested in the chases. I mean, if I found one in the wild, I would probably keep it or maybe uh, trade it or sell it for something that I really want, um, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find them. And then this is a really cool piece. This is a model kit from M2, 65 Ford Econoline van, um, comp cams release. Um, just a regular release, nothing about a chase or anything. 6,750 pieces. But I really like the paint job on this one. It looks really cool. And we're going to put that together uh, later in the video. I'll probably just put it together off camera and then show it to you completed. So you don't have to hear me swear while I'm trying to put it together. Sometimes these can be kind of a pain to put together. And then I got uh, my friend Mike Kovac found this cool thing. Uh, in the checkout aisle, it's some sort of a Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> I think it was like some Scooby Scooby-Doo snacks or something like that, and it came with like a little toy. It comes with a little plastic mixer machine. Uh, it's got rollers in the middle, which is kind of weird. The outside wheels are just part of the exterior casting, so they don't actually turn. But there's rollers in the middle that stick up slightly higher than the wheels, and the rollers roll. And then it comes with uh, some stickers so you can put some stickers um, on the little toy van so uh, I don't know exactly uh, what snacks these came with or what kind of what the outer box looked like because I never saw it Mike saw a few and he grabbed one for me so I'm going to try to put the stickers on that and I'll show you that hopefully later in the video and then I got a couple from eBay I got a, a matchbox uh, with a kangaroo on it, which is one I've been watching for a while. I think they're more common in the UK or Australia. That's part of the reason why it's got the kangaroo on it, I think. Um, but they aren't cheap, especially when you factor in the shipping from Europe. Um, but I found one that was a little bit more reasonable. I don't think it's in mint condition. I think it's in played with condition, but it's still better than not having one at all. Um, if I find one that's at a good price, that's super cheap, obviously I'll upgrade. 
So we'll open up that and check it out. And then this one is a special um, Matchbox release is the Ford Supervan 2. This is still sealed in the original bag. Uh, this was part of a set uh, called Graphics, I believe. Uh, Matchbox Graphics. And it was spelt G-R-A-F-F-I-X. And it came with some markers and some uh, decal sheets. So you could, basically the idea was the vehicles that came in the pack, it came with um, pens, like paint pens. And you, uh, the object was to like design your own vehicle and paint it. And then you could put stickers on it and stuff. And um, so it came in a set with two vehicles and some pens and like a decal sheet and on the uh on the pen, paint pens or markers it said graphics traffic and uh i didn't have one of these all white ford superman 2s i don't believe in my personal collection cuz it's from this special set i did find uh, a whole set on ebay that was still in the original packaging but it was going for a little bit more money and I ended up getting out of outbid on it. Uh, but I found this one a lot cheaper and it's the exact same van. And really all I wanted was the van. It would have been cool to show you the original packaging. But I think I'll just insert some pictures here um, of the original packaging from that YouTube, I'm sorry, you, uh, eBay listing. So that was the uh, pictures from that eBay listing of uh, some of the card art of that original Matchbox graphics release, the Ford Supervan 2. Uh, now let me just adjust the camera. I'll grab the turntable and we'll start cracking everything open. We can check it out in detail. All right, first one we'll check out is this uh, Matchbox. Uh, it's a... I don't know if it's some sort of special release or not. Uh, I've seen a few of these on eBay, but usually they're selling from the UK. Uh, so shipping alone, you know, is like, could be anywhere from like $15 to $30 just for shipping. Um, I'm, I can't remember if this one was actually sold by a US seller, so the shipping wasn't so expensive. Um, but I've seen them still in the original box. Uh, or I've most of the time you see them loose, but this one is obviously uh, in played with condition. It's a little bit uh, chipped up along the top edge and the uh, hood there. Um, but it was one that I didn't have and uh, I found one fairly reasonable. So I figured I would jump on it to, you know, get, add one to the collection. So you can see along the top. There's uh, quite a few little chips and scratches, and then on the hood in the front, there's a few chips, um, but overall not too bad. I mean, the tampo, at least the tampo is still there. It's not like scratched off or anything. Tampo still looks like it's in good condition. This is on that uh, raked stance base. Uh, I think it might be a super fast release. Uh, Matchbox super fast Chevy van made in England. Um, but overall it's in good condition. Uh, the wheels and the base and everything seem to be in decent shape. It's just uh, a little bit played with condition. Uh, the paint has a few chips. So uh, glad to add another uh, raked stanced Chevy van to the collection. One that I didn't have. Uh, another Matchbox is this uh, Ford Supervan 2 from that uh, graphics traffic or, or Hot Wheels graphics uh, release. We'll give you a shot of the base, Matchbox Ford Supervan 2. Matchbox, I think this one says made in China on the bottom. And the very top left 
it says 162, which I believe is the scale, 162 scale. But it's just an all white one, uh, just so that you could uh, take the the uh, paint pens and make your own design or graphics on it, paint it up, uh, make your own tampo or design, your own paint scheme. And then it came with like a sticker sheet and stuff. I didn't get the sticker sheet. I just got the van, but that's all I really wanted was just this plain white original van. And I don't believe I have one of these in my collection. So I'm glad to be able to add that. I think this is the only one that I'm missing from my Matchbox Ford Supervan 2 casting. And I believe there's a, a video on my YouTube channel on that if you wanted to uh, see my Ford Supervan 2 collection from Matchbox. I have a, a video in my Matchbox playlist, so check those out on my channel. And we could check out this little uh, snack and surprise toy. And it come, it's a little uh, mystery machine, chunk of plastic. It's got some writing on the bottom, whether we can read it or not is another question looks like it says 2005 2006 on there but the rest of it i really can't read no it says 2020 i'm sorry it says tm 2020 kellogg and a company made in mexico so the uh this is some sort of a a snack from Kellogg's company. Now it comes with some stickers in the bag so you can decorate it. So I might try to add the stickers. I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but we could see uh, how it how it goes. There again, you can see it says Kellogg on the 2020 Kellogg NA company. And HB for Hanna Barbera, but uh, I could try to put the stickers on and see how I do. But I'm no artist. Okay, well I did my best. There's freaking twelve different little stickers. I thought it was just like one large piece, like the whole side of the van. It would have been easier just to put one big sticker on, but there's like a sticker for each panel. So there's four stickers per side. Plus the windshield, and then three different stickers for the front. So I did my best. I'm no artist, but uh, here's the end result. I think it did. A, I think it looks okay. Tried to sticker inside the lines as much as I could, but uh, I think I did okay. So there, that's it. I guess. Uh, you know, it's for it's like a kid's thing, so maybe that's the fun of it, maybe, is they get to put the stickers on themselves. I don't know. I would think it would be easier just to, like, send it along with the stickers already on it. But it does have little rollers, kind of like a Flintstone car, where it's just got two big rollers on the bottom. <clears throat> and that's how it rolls. But it's just a cheap, you know, $1 toy, so you can't expect too much of it. Uh, but it looks pretty, pretty neat for a little... Uh, toy prize so uh watch for your uh i think it was in the checkout aisle and uh the grocery store is where he found it so and it's made by Kellogg. so uh unfortunately i don't have the outside of the box to show you but uh maybe keep an eye out for that if you're a die die hard uh scooby-doo or mystery machine uh fanatic and you like to collect all these little toys uh so that's it for that one Next up, we'll check out some of these uh, M2 Holstice vans. Here it is uh, inside the plexiglass case. Uh, I think that there's like a little silver spot in the middle of the wheel on these. And I think on one of the wheels, it was like kind of painted off center. So it looks kind of weird. On this driver's side, the driver's side front wheel, I think it looks a little odd. Like the silver chrome part is like not centered right. So that's kind of a shame. But uh, 
Let me just take it off the base and then we'll take a look at it outside of the case. Okay, here it is uh, off the base. Real shiny. I think the green has a little bit of metallic in it. A little bit of uh, metal flake. It kind of catches the light a little bit. Which is something that you probably can only see if you have it outside of the packaging. You know, if you have it loose. Another reason to open up your cars and let them breathe. So that's the uh, Apple Fruit Pie Dodge A100 van. Not the most exciting uh, livery, but, you know, at least it's not Coke, I guess. They put out enough Coke stuff already. Um, but, yeah, I had to pick it up. I'm a completist with the new Dodge A100 van casting from M2. And then we're going to check out the, the Ding Dongs Ford van. Let's see if we can get this open. I'll show it to you uh, inside the acrylic case first, and then I'll take it off the base so you can get a better look at it. 64 Ford Econoline van. I mean, I'm a hostess fan. I, I'm, a, I'm a fatty, so I like my, uh, uh, you know, sugary snacks. But who doesn't like a little hostess treat once in a while? All right, I'm going to take it off the base. All right, here's the Ford Econoline van hostess Ding Dongs livery M2 off the base. We can check it out in detail. Pretty cute little uh, old school hostess design on it. White and blue colors. So another one to add to the Ford Econoline van M2 collection. And then last but not least is this, uh, definitely not least, this competition cams Ford Econoline van kit. I'm going to put that together and then I'll show it to you loose. All right, here's the options, the wheel choices. There's a shinier chrome and some white wall tire or some white letter tires. And then there's just some uh, black tires. I think actually there's some red lines here. I might have the tires on backwards now that I'm looking at it close with the red lines. And uh, the, I think they're the same wheels. They're just uh, like more of a anthracite gray instead of a shiny chrome or they're just like a weathered chrome. Uh, so, but I opted for the shinier, uh, with the white letter Goodyear tires for the van. All right, here it is all finished and put together. It went together pretty well. Not, uh, too many setbacks. I got it together fairly easily, but, uh, you know, it took a little while, and I, I take my time to make sure that I don't break anything or mess anything up. So, uh, it's just easier to do it off camera than to sit and let you uh, watch while I do it. And then it has, then the video is an extra 15 minutes longer than it needs to be. So, But a really cool version, one I really like. Glad to add another uh, M2 Ford van uh, to the collection, especially... Uh, a cool looking performance brand like this. These are the kinds that I like. The ones with the lowered stance and the hot rod styling. Or the 70s style. That's the cool stuff. That's what I like. Alright guys. Here's everything for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Facebook page. That Van Guy. And you can check me out on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.